I mean, it's not even. Here we are. <laughs> I would like to get to know So welcome back to my channel. Today's video is very, very, very impromptu. I was literally getting ready and I had an effort moment. So I've been struggling really, really, really bad with breakage and I decided it's just time to And that's what we've done. She's uneven, but I don't know. I'm okay with her. She's, 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 she's a work in progress, okay? So I did have some mishaps with the evenness, but we're gonna, we're gonna keep it moving. So this is what my hair looks like. I might go ahead and put a picture on the screen of, um, the breakage was really bad. Like, you can see how long my hair is here. Can I do it like that? my hair here compared to here and like people were like oh no don't worry it'll just grow but how can how how so anyway so I cut it because it was just like I'll show you it just it was it wasn't cute so now um only thing I've done is wash my hair I look crazy only thing I've done is wash my hair look at that before and after should this be a thumbnail <laughs> So anyways, like I was saying, I've washed my hair. This is the only thing I've put in it. It is a, it's called Too Chic by Giovanni Hair Care. First time trying it. I think it's all right. My hair doesn't feel like weighed down or greasy or anything like that. So I still got my pink lotion just in case. So I just want to talk to y'all while I finish up because I should have just documented this from the beginning. I was taking pictures along the way, but nothing too serious until until just now. So if you see me look down, I'm just looking at my mirror. So I've been going over each section twice. Um, I'm just trying to think what else I can get say to get y'all caught up to speed. So as you can see, the front of my hair is still long. I decided, I don't know why, but I was like, let me cut it and see. I mean, straighten, finish straighten it and see how long I missed the part over here in the back. Let me cut it and see how long it's gonna be and like what length I'm gonna be standing at. So that's why I went ahead and cut this side first. And then I figured I would just wait, straighten this side and then make it, try and make it the same length. Cause obviously I failed on that before. I'm trying to keep them slightly thin, but whatever. So here's how not to mess up your hair. Before doing any type of at home keratin hair treatment, I suggest doing a patch test. Uh, period, really, that's, that's it. I suggest doing a patch test and maybe letting that patch test sit for like a week or two. Hey, Editing Mika here. When I say let it sit for a week or two, I honestly mean putting it in your hair, rinsing it out, and seeing if anything happens over the next week or two. Not letting the product sit in your hair for a week or two. Just want to clarify. Cause I did my patch test and nothing bad happened. And then I did my whole head. And then a few weeks later, that's when I started noticing a lot of breakage. So if it was up to me, I'd say patch test and wait. I know people patch test 24 hours, things change in your skin. I don't know. Anyways, so I decided to do an at home keratin hair treatment. And I liked my results. They were all right. <laughs> It was kind of just like me straightening my hair. It wasn't like silk pressy type straightened hair, but it was nice. And then the breakage started. Now this could partly be my fault as well for not um, taking care of my hair as I should, deep conditioning, straightening a lot. I think I got a comment the other day that said maybe my hair had Oh, I don't want to lie, but I think it said something about maybe my hair had protein and oh, I just passed over more than more than three times. Um, maybe my hair had protein in it and it didn't need a keratin treatment or, or my hair had something in it. I'll go ahead and put the comment on the screen so that way I say it right. But I would definitely suggest checking um, probably with a licensed stylist before you attempt to do it at home, which they're probably gonna try and get your money, but maybe they can give you some insight on what exactly to do. So it started off really small, like really small. I barely even um, noticed it was one patch. Like on this side, it was just like one little patch. I was like, oh yeah, that's fine, that's fine. And then 
I just noticed more, <laughs> more and more hair started uh, breaking. Washing my hair, I didn't notice like an extra amount of shedding. It was actually pretty good in the beginning because I was deep conditioning and treating it. And then I kind of just threw my hair in some braids under a wig and then didn't take care of it for weeks on end. I, I'd say at least about three weeks where I had didn't moisturize, didn't wash. Does that make me sound dirty? Probably. But usually when my braids are under my wig, I don't do much. I know that you should take care of your hair under your wig. You definitely should take that for me as um, a pointer because I'm proof. <laughs> so what did I do when I noticed a little bit of breakage? I just decided to keep wearing wigs. If I, I figured if I kept wearing a wig, I couldn't hurt my hair, but I don't know. I was just having a bad problem. Like even now, once we get to the end, I'm gonna show you just this one section. I guess I can show you a little bit now, put it over there. Like this is just so flowy and free. And this is kind of not. Does that make sense? I don't know, it's still something back there, but I'm gonna be on a road to like treating it. I'm also using these Revla, Revella? Revla, I'm gonna call it, hair drops that hopefully help with hair growth. I'm gonna try and document that as well so y'all can see. But like, I just feel like the back is stiff. What is that? There's no product in my hair, like besides this, but that was a very light coating of an oil or heat protectant, whatever it's called, hair serum. So I don't know. I don't know. If anybody is a hairstylist that follows me and can give me some advice on how to make it get back to the way it used to be. I don't, I don't know, I don't know. But the good part is it's hair, it'll grow back. Like I'm not that attached to it. This is the shortest probably my hair has been in my adult, in my whole life probably, since I was a kid. I used to have like a good length amount but I also was going to the hair salon every probably two weeks when I was younger. At least once a month. Up in there getting a deep treatment or a wash, condition. This is your sign to take better care of your hair, okay? It's weird because I'm noticing this side is more broken than, I, than the other side. And I thought the other side was the part that was more broken, but hey ho, here we go. Um, if you follow my channel, you know I used to text lax, but before, before the keratin treatment, I decided not to text lax for a few months. I thought that could be a factor in doing damage. So I didn't text lax for maybe about three months before I did the keratin treatment. And still like, this is what I got. So next month I'm trying to make an appointment so that way I can get my hair done and looked at by a professional. I live in a little town where there's not much black hair care. Um, uh salons so it is difficult for me to find someone i trust i think the one i saw some girl on instagram that does like really good hair natural curl wash and goes color straightening um perms relaxers whatever y'all want to call them but it's a two-hour ride like do you drive two hours to get your hair done let me know if you do because if it don't sound too crazy, I might try. But if y'all say that's crazy, you driving two hours to get your hair done is crazy, then I know I might still go. Because once I get it done back home, I'm still gonna need to keep continue to take care of it here. If you're new here and don't know, I live in England, my husband's English. Yeah, now you're caught up. All the things I did pre-baby, oh my God, I took for granted. I didn't realize how much time I was actually catering to my hair. Like, well, I guess I was doing videos, like two videos a week. So I definitely was uh, dedicating time to taking care of my hair. But now it's just like finding time. But now that he's starting like to go to school and I get some days to film and actually take care of my hair and my mental health. I need to start doing that. Oh my gosh, this part, this side is gonna be so uneven. Probably should do this side first. But that's fine, because then I just cut this side more. Ah. Honestly, I know it's not done yet, but I just feel very like momish. I'm trying to see the vision. And then I'm trying to also like, I've already been Googling cute Bob hairstyles, black girl edition, because you know you got to. And I don't know. I was thinking today I might add some waves to this. I don't know. Do I do a side part? I don't know. I might pull out my um I might pull out my flexi rods tonight and sleep with it. That way they can have like a little bit of a wave to them tomorrow. And also I'm I'm considering when I go get my hair done at home, considering just getting a relaxer and then 
that also takes away from like prep time of hair as well. Get out, wash, blow dry, we done. But then I'm worried about the versatility. Like I get very um, bored quickly. I like big hair, if you don't know, like I love me some big hair. So what happens if I get a perm and it's just flat? <sighs> Which I wouldn't mind revisiting heat training. But once my hair started breaking, I don't know if you noticed, the heat training videos stopped because I just figured heat and breakage already wasn't the one. Now it's time for the fun part. Now, I know if you're a hairstylist and you're watching this and you see me take these construction first grade scissors to my hair, you're probably, you're probably upset. But girl, that's all I got. I'm working with what I got. I did that so uneven. Oh my God, I did that uneven. Okay, you gotta be careful when we're going up here, girl. Let's see. I mean, once you're there, you're there. I'm nervous. Okay, so it's, it's messed up. <laughs> oh my God, it's so uneven. How can I get that evened out? How can I get that even out? This is what happened on this side. So now my hair is totally uneven. Oh girl. I can't even see what I'm doing properly. This is my favorite edge control to use when my hair is, um, oh, when my hair is straight. It's called Aqua Hair Wax Full Force. It smells like, um, not strawberries or something. How do we feel? I mean, it's not even, and somebody's gonna have to fix that for me. I'm probably gonna have to wait till my husband gets home to make sure the back is okay. But here we are. <laughs> uh, I think, I think we're done here. Anyways, let me stop messing with my hair. I hope you guys enjoyed this and learned what not to do to your hair, especially when applying treatments and stuff at home. Um, if you guys have any questions, I'll try to do my best to answer them below in the comment section. Always, always, always remember to spread love, inspire others, and strive for greatness. And I'll see y'all soon. Bye.